Hello and welcome back to the Fodor player career mode. As it stands, we are top of the league. We lead Milan by one point. They have played an extra game, but we do lead Lazio by four and Inter Milan by five. We also got second in our group in the Champions League, which sets up a knockout tie to Barcelona. And we are the top scorer at the club with 14 goals, four assists and 18 appearances. We've been on fire this season. And for our first game of the day, we're hosting Roma. It's nil at the moment, 30 minutes left to play. We're coming on to change the game as we constantly do for Napoli. And they're also down to 10 men, so we bloody should win. Nice play, beautiful play from Napoli. Oshim, fucks it. Oshim, are you going to go all the way? Chance, chance, no. Victor Oshim wins it. Photo back to Victor Oshim. Fucks it, he gets... Victor Oshim's ass, confirmed. He should be dropped. Play. Beautiful play from Napoli. We're cooking here. Fikdoshian plays Fodor through. Fodor opens the goal up. It's slots at home. He is unstoppable. The Hungarian is unstoppable. Have some of that. Napoli take the lead. Fikdoshian doesn't fuck it up for once. Come on. Oh, no. No, Darwizzi's through. Darwin Nunez does what Darwin Nunez does best. Absolutely skies it. Thank you. Oh, no. Another chance for Roma. Chance. Good save. It's got to be yours. Play it wide. Nice. I mean, I didn't want it like that, but it's fine, Fodor. No, I wanted it like back post sort of thing. Ah, he fucked it. It was a shit ball. Nice, Victorium. Nice. Fodor's through to make it two. That was horrible. Horrible. Oh, Saliba. No. Darwin Nunes is through. This guy's ass, bro. I mean, that's a great throw, Fodor. A bit of space into Victorium. You're through, fella. You've got to score to make it two. You have to. You can't miss that. Fodor is the difference. A goal and assist. Well, I guess Victor Oshim got a goal assist as well, but we're just better than him anyway. For our next match, we took a trip to Monza. We got off to a fast start with Kudos playing us through, and we hit it straight at the keeper. But from the resulting corner, the Georgian scores this beautifully flicked on header to give us the lead. We then ran through 1-1, but put it just wide. But we did eventually make it 2-0 in the second half as we slipped Kudos through, who smashed it against the post, then luckily tapped it in with the rebound but we eventually did get our goal as the Georgian played us through and we smashed it off the crossbar and in and the Georgian did make it 4-0 after getting a little bit lucky with the rebound off the defender and that was all as we cruised to victory and we've been nominated for the player of the month again I swear every single month we've been nominated this is brilliant I'm loving it and now a big, big match. Uh, it's called the EA Sports Super Cup. I'm guessing it's the Italian Super Cup or something like that we're coming on 30 minutes left to play nil all against Inter Milan Nice ball, nice ball, Fodor! Fodor! Bro, I can't, I can't see where the ball is. That guy's blocking my vision. Fuck! Chance for Inter. Chance! Is he onside? What a save! He's missed! Play me, play me, Fodor. Chance for Fodor here. For Napoli! No, it's a good save! Nice. Fodor at the edge. Fodor drags it just wide! Ah, oh, it's a big opportunity, man. Um, um, what? Um, what? What a save! What a tackle! How was he even side? What the fuck? Saliba passed the ball, you dumb cunt! Oh, what a ball! Fodor's through! This is it! The last chance of the game! It's Fodor! What is that? He's not even tried to slot it in! That was just a half- Oh man, the shooting today's been shit! We should have scored- Oh, we should have won! And that's it. It's going extra time. Oh my god! How has he nearly gone in? I thought that was going wide. What the fuck? Lovely ball. Fodor could be in. End to end stuff here. Lovely cut in. I should have passed that. I should have passed it. I didn't know he was there. Fuck. Chance. Matt. Why is our centre back taking this? Why is our centre back taking Why not me? Nice photo, nice. He's fought hard for that. He's fought. Please, you should. Where are we going? Yes. Finish. Oh my god. That, I, seen it, I swear I seen a house playing up front now. Is he playing fucking striker? Why is he there? And we're going to penalties. This game should never end in nil. We should have scored plenty. Our keeper saved our ass. They missed an open goal. We're going to pins. And I'm first. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Yes, photo. Jordan Pickford's in goal as well. Timo Werner? Ah, Simeone. 
Good strike, lad. Good strike. Water. They're into Milan. Yes, you tosser. Fuck off. Mason Mount. Slotted home. Oh, Peninka, you dirty fucker. Bel Beltran. Oh, yeah. Go fuck yourself, mate. Go fuck yourself. Declan Rice. How does that ever go in? This game's so fucking washed, bro. It is unbelievable, this game. Barrios for Inter. He has to score. And he doesn't because in this game, the AI took four Pininka penalties in a row. This game is shit, but it doesn't matter. We win the cup. And there's no trophy celebration. What is this bullshit? Unless there's a final? I don't know. So it turns out that wasn't the final. That was the semi-final. This, this cup competition isn't very well labeled. Now we're in the final and we're trailing against AC Milan. We're coming off the bench to try to turn it around. 30 minutes remaining. Can Fodor this time shoot the bloody ball properly? Nice ball, Fodor. Could be paying it across. Finish, you've got to it in! Napoli a level! Come on, baby! Who scored that? Zelensky, the captain. Sit down, AC Milan. Photo of the game changers on. And he's just been subbed off. Gaffer, why are you subbing off the goal scorer and the captain? What are we doing? Good us into you. How has that got to me? I don't know. It's Fodor. With a chance. Oh, what a save. Nice win, Fodor. Play me. Lovely ball. Fodor. Can he pick someone? Why has it gone back post? Oh my god, it's in! Why did that go back post? That was just supposed to go into the center. And Milan have fucked it. They've fucked that. Fodor has crossed. That's an assist. That's an assist, in my opinion. Add that to the box, bud. How is this? That was just supposed to go to like Declan Rice. That was just there. That is horrible defending. And we turn it around off the bench. Oh, kudos. Let me kudos. Lovely ball. Fodor's in. Fodor. Why would you shoot with your right? You're actually a spastic. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Oh, chance. AC Milan are through. So Bozlai's through. He's missed. Oh, my God. Absolute drama. Oh, no. Yes, Saliba. No fucking what? Oh, my God. We nearly just gave them a goal right at the death. But it doesn't matter. Napoli win. Fodor turns it around. Holy Christ. What was that? What was that end bit, man? That's ridiculous. Ooh. Our first ever trophy, I think, for Nap. I think it's our first trophy, right? Yeah, it must be. We won the Play of the Month award. Obviously, it's there's no video of it because the rest, you know, we won the cup and whatnot. But we won another Play of the Month that's free this season. We're on roids. I think it's free. After winning the Super Cup, we now take a trip away to Lazio. We got off to the perfect start as Fodor raced through in behind him, laced it into the back of the net. Our lead didn't last long though, as Lazio went down the other end and scored instantly. Lazio nearly took the lead with 15 minutes remaining, but absolutely wasted it. But only minutes later, we ended up taking the lead as the Georgians smashed it home. Fodor then put the icing on the cake with this brilliant shot just inside the box to give us all three points. We then hosted Udinese. The first half provided absolutely nothing, but quickly into the second half, Fodor raced through just to take the worst shot on goal I've ever seen. And then only seconds later, we took the ball off the defender's feet just to miss again. And only a few minutes after those horrible misses, we did finally take our chances. We shot perfectly into the side netting. But don't worry, we weren't done missing yet as we are played through by the Georgian again, only to put it wide. Again. But luckily for us, all those missed chances didn't come back to bite us as we got all three points. And for our next match, we did come off the bench as we did take a little knock in the last game. And we made an instant impact as we raced through one-on-one, -on -one, chipping the keeper as it hit the post, but Lorente tapped it home to give us the lead. We nearly made it too as we raced through and behind only for the keeper to make himself big and save it. We ended up winning 1-0. We then hosted Viennes. We got off to a fast start as we nearly scored an absolute screamer. But we did manage to take the lead with this effort just managing to get past the keeper. And not so long after that, we made it 2-0 as we got in behind and slotted it into the top corner. We then completed our hat-trick with this fine effort. We are absolutely cooking them. And would you believe it, we did end up getting our fourth as we raced through in behind and made no mistake as we lashed it into the top corner. The keeper couldn't even move. And just after we scored our fourth, we then ended up getting injured. And as I tried to stop the game to allow me to get subbed off, I may or may not have just taken this guy out and got sent off. We did end up winning 4-0. All right, so we, we missed this game because I got myself sent off like a fucking idiot. It's against Criminals in the Cup. We win 2-1. Come on, boys.
We were then back into the team as we came off the bench against Salonintana. And we gave Napoli the lead basically instantly with Lorente playing this great ball with us hitting it straight to the keeper. But luckily it went in. And that was the only thing that happened. So we won again. As a disappointing end to the January transfer, no, not really anything happened. We didn't really sign or sell anyone, except we sold kudos on deadline day for 60-odd mil to Wolves. That is stupid. The front three of us were cooking. Dumb decision. And no surprise, we're up for player of the month. I mean, fucking hell, we're scoring for fun. And Lorente has actually been cooking. He's been playing over the Georgian a little bit, and he's been assisting me for fun. And of course, of course, we've taken another one home. That's like number four out of five possible fucking awards that we've got four. Oh my God, we're on, we're on fire. So we have now hit 85 rated. So we get a new play style. Not many options to choose from, but we're going to randomize and see what we get, baby. And we got chip shot. That's actually good. No, we'll take that. Chip shot's actually good because we suck at chipping and they'll add a little bit of uh, variety to our goals, maybe. And now it's a big game as we get into this one. It's a top of the table clash. But when we look at the league, Napoli are pissing on it. 13 points clear after 23 games. It has been an absolute piss take of a season. Bodor scoring for fun. Napoli can't concede. 10 goals conceded in 23 games. I mean, Inter have to win to hope that we can bloody collapse this, really. Because otherwise, if we win tonight, we're going to be even further ahead. And no one's going to catch us. Oh, chance for Inter. Good block. Seconds. Oh my god, you fucking killed him. Oh, chance, chance, chance. Inter Milan are in the box. Inter Milan. That is such a shit effort. Chance for Inter Milan. They're cooking something. He slipped him through. Oh my god, what a save. That's absolutely fucking world class. Nice. We're cooking. We're cooking. Uh, referee. Do you mind not calling at half time when we're cooking something here, fella? We did fucking nothing. I don't think we've even gotten into their box at all. That was a really shocking half from the front three. Oh my god. So much space for Inter. It's a deep cross. It's in. It's a rare goal for Napoli to concede, but we've conceded. I mean, maybe this opens up the title race if we lose here, but I don't want to lose here. I don't want to lose again. Nice play. Lovely play. Fodor. Laurent. Oh, fuck you. Why'd you go wide, brother? Give it away. Fodor. How did they not... Oh, mate, it is not happening at the moment. Into you. Nice play. Nice play. I'm peeling back stick. That guy actually followed me. He actually fucking followed me. Are you kidding me? Defense. Are you taking the piss? Well, okay. We've just had a really bad game. What a tackle. What the fuck? Play me. Play me. Play me. Declan Rice. I better be on side. I am. Fodor. Photo for Napoli. That's such a bad effort. Such a bad effort. Fo oh my god, what is going on? It's still alive. It's still alive. Shoot! Come on! The last minute! The last second! The captain steps up! And we save a point! Come on! We have been fucking horrendous today. Absolutely horrendous. This is easily our worst performance of the... Why are you sub... You're subbing me off with genuinely half a second left. <laughs> I haven't finished my outro, fella, of the game. Well, there you go. Brilliant. What a great sub from the manager. Excellent. Oh, my God. We didn't deserve to win. We didn't deserve to draw. We deserved to lose, but we did it. We got a point, and we will bloody take that. And we have a big game here after the big game against Inter. We host Lazio in the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. And it's an interesting front three. We've got the Georgian on the left, Fodor through the middle, and Oshium. On the right-hand side, Oshim's been really poor the last couple months. He's not been able to break into the team at all. Let's see if he can do it on the right-hand side. Nice play, Oshim. Nice play. Oh, Oshim, what a ball. It's Fodor. He's through early for Napoli. Oshim. Right winger, mate. Do you want to play there? What a ball from Oshim. Fodor strikes early, and that is the perfect start for Napoli. Oh, I've won it. I've won it. Oh, my God. Oh my god, why your why is your last touch? Oh, it's in! It's in! What has happened? I don't know! It's 2-0 within 7 minutes! Why was his last touch so bad? I want to get a little bit closer and then just rocket it in. But it doesn't matter, it's in. It's 2-0 in 7 minutes and we look to be cruising into the semi-finals. So what's happened here exactly? The keeper's just a fuckwit. It's that simple. Nice play, Oshim. You play me, Oshim. Lovely ball from Oshim. Maybe this guy was bought... What was that? Maybe this guy was born to be a right winger. That shot was awful. 
Nice play. Really nice play. Really nice play from Napoli. He's taking it too wide. That's half time. It's 2-0. The first 10 minutes was absolutely wild. We should have had two. Oshim should have had two assists as well. I'm sorry, Oshim, that I fucked it. But it's 2-0, and we're basically into the semi-finals unless we bottle it. Nice. Oshim. What a ball. Oh, it's not going to me. What the fuck? That, I asked for that. Why am I not going for it? It's bullshit. Oh, my God, photo. Oh, my God, you've ruined it. That was a great header from me as well. And that's full time. Really, after that first 10 minutes, nothing of note really happened. We played well, but in terms of chance creation, we sort of fucked it always in the final third. But it doesn't matter. We're into the semis, and I mean, fuck me. We're on for the dribble. So these are the quarterfinals. Malonga knocked out Roma. Obviously, we knocked out Lazio. Juventus knocked out Torino. And Inter knocked out Sal, Sal Solo. So it's actually a pretty heavy semi-final of Juventus and Inter. But that's it for this episode as we sit nine points clear with a game in hand, potentially 12 points, depending if we can win against Criminose, which actually happens to be one of our losses this season. Our form has been utterly impressive as we have 26 goals and assists and 21 appearances this season so far in the Serie A. We've been unplayable at times. And even though we have 20 goals in 21 games, we're still not the top scorer with Alvarez, 23 and 25. He's cooking. I hope you all enjoyed. Luck subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode where we will play Barcelona in the Champions League knockouts.